All right, guys, RB on the road, and we have breaking news. That is right, Sixers fire head coach Doc Rivers after three seasons in which all resulted short of expectation. Game seven, game six, game seven, all in the second round. I knew heads would start falling, and Doc Rivers was first. I predicted this on the show yesterday. I said, they'll give them Monday to get back, get situated, and then boom, Tuesday comes around, they're firing them. Uh, I knew somebody would have to go, right? And, and the coach is always going to take the first hit. But did the Sixers just choose James Harden over Doc Rivers, right? They apparently had something with the relationship. And, you know, people were saying they couldn't see James coming back to play for Doc. Or do they let James go? Do they trade Joel? Do they completely restart? Or do they retool around and beat in Maxi? There are so many decisions that will create for a drama-filled offseason. I just saw a follow-up tweet from Woj, which said that, the Sixers are going to look into Monty Williams, Nick Nurse, Mike Budenholzer, Mike D'Antoni, Frank Vogel, and Sam Cassell. Right now, the, the uh, coaching carousel is hotter than ever. There are so many names out there, guys that have won championships, guys that have been to championships, and, um, you know, it's now or never. So at the end of the day, I think that uh, the Sixers, if they were going to do it, did it at the right time, if they w indeed want to get a new coach. But obviously, the roster has to improve uh, otherwise, you know, this team is probably going to end up in the same place. But when you don't get the results, somebody has to start dropping. And uh, Doc Rivers was the first domino. So just wanted to give you guys the update. We will talk about this more. We'll break it down, look at all the different uh, coaching potential, you know, replacements. Uh, but at the end of the day, Doc Rivers out after three seasons and a big, big offseason of changes coming for Philadelphia.